What's up? I'm Brian Tong and welcome to the Apple Buy for all the good and bad inside the world of Apple. Let's get to the show. Now the latest MacBook Pros have been outfitted with Sandy Bridge processors, so when should we expect to see them in the MacBook Airs? According to Hard Mac, Intel is just about ready to launch their ultra low voltage CPUs that would be compatible. The Core i5 2537M chip is clocked at 1.4 GHz and features a turbo mode reaching 2.3 GHz. It also removes the need for NVIDIA graphics since the graphics are integrated within the processor. Now, CNET has reported that revamped MacBook Airs will be updated in June, and this release would enable them to fall in that timetable. So, if you're waiting for a Sandy Bridge Air like I am, then June can't come soon enough. Now, in other product news rumors, plenty of people are disappointed with the lack of a camera on the latest iPod Nano. It's the same Nano used like a watch that makes you look like a douchebag. But according to Taiwanese site Apple Pro, the next gen Nano might be bringing back the camera. Check out this picture. Now, I know we're always a little skeptical with these types of posts, but the blurry spy cam shot does have a strong resemblance to the current Nano's housing, and Apple Pro was the first to leak the redesigned Nano screen. Now, September is the time for an iPod refresh, so we'll find out around then. Now, also, if you want to look into the future even more, patently Apple has revealed the Big A has won a patent for an all-new hybrid display port and USB 3.0 high-speed connector. It will use the same 30-pin connector we're familiar with, and it shows the iPod as being one of the first devices to use this, but it will also be used on future Mac hardware. And if you thought there wasn't any room to put more buttons on the iPhone or iPod Touch, the Big A has also applied for another patent described as a smart bezel. This smart bezel would be an illuminated secondary display that would show off illuminated indicators on the bezel, and they could morph into various controls for work and play. There were talks about Apple completely removing the home button in future products, and this could be the solution to that. All right, that's some cool stuff, but you know what's even cooler? Our iPhone app of the week. With the baseball season in full swing, this week's app is Home Run Battle 3D. Now, there's a free version or a paid version for $4.99, but it's one of the top-rated baseball games. Tilt the screen to aim and tap to swing. The awesome online mode has you compete against other players, and we're pretty good at this game here in the office. Oh, nice. Ooh, nice. Okay, here we go, here we go. Here. Back, 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 back. Oh! <laughs> Dude, Barry hey who? Oh, what's Barry. going on? What are you doing? Oh, hey, hey what's up, Charlie? Uh, you know, we're playing a little home run battle 3D. Oh, home run baseball. Yeah. Hey, I like it. You mind if I give it a try? Yeah, let me try. Let me try. Okay, okay, here, here. Tap like, to tap. swing. Here's the pitch, and tap. <laughs> What was that? Charlie, that's my phone, sausage fingers. What are you doing? I want to see you at 3 o'clock at the real baseball diamond. We'll see who can play baseball. Let's get this over with. Let's play ball! Oh, you're bringing the heat, Nunez! Yeah, the heat. Oh, come on now, that was completely inaccurate. Where were the shots of the deep balls that I was smacking? Uh, I believe that was off the field, Brian. Oh, 
Okay, everybody's a comedian. I got you, Ariel. All right, on to the quick bites. Boy Genius Report says iOS 4.3.2 will be out in a couple weeks to address battery and performance issues and possibly bring the Verizon iPhone 4 up to speed since it's still stuck on 4.2. Also, a lot of you have been asking about the next release of Final Cut Pro, and according to rumors, Apple is requiring sponsors of Apple's April 12th meetup for Final Cut Pro professionals to cancel their presentations so that Apple can have the stage time necessary to show off the next FCP. Now, reps from both Canon and Avid confirmed they were canceled as presenters, but for Final Cut users, it'll be worth it since people who have seen the product in action describe it as jaw-dropping. Now, The Loop reports that Microsoft will be releasing the Office for Mac 2011 Service Pack 1, which will see some improvements, but also bring support for syncing calendars to iOS devices via sync services. Microsoft also just released the Bing app specifically for the iPad with voice search and mapping functions, as well as news, weather, movie listings, and more. Initial reviews are very positive, and it's a clean looking app. And if you're still having trouble finding the iPad 2, why not look for it? at Toys R Us. Jeffrey the Giraffe is training employees, and you know what that means. More games, more toys, oh boy! I wanna be a Toys R Us kid. Hey, did you guys see that? That was Jaleel White on the swing without glasses, which totally has everything to do with the Apple Bite. All right, that's gonna do it for this week's show. Send us your emails to theapplebite at cnet.com. We'll throw some into the show. I'm Brian Tong, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next week for another Bite of the Apple.